Okay, hello YouTubers. In this video, I will deeper compare the Son of Pow with this watt meter that I have. Just to see how much of a difference they have, I will hook up two different motors and we'll see just how closely to each other they read. Okay, first I will hook up this AC motor. It is 100 of a horsepower. It's very small. It is rated for 3000 RPM. This is from an AC fan. It was kind of cooling mortar that they had. So I have this extension cord that I cut. I hooked up to this and the other end is hooked up to my outlet. And I'm gonna connect this. Then I'm gonna take my phone. I'm gonna lay it right here. You can see it says zero watts. And I'm gonna hold the motor down and I'm gonna hit power and it's on. And it's reading 2831 it's reading 31 watts okay 31 I'm gonna try to put this under a load and I'm gonna try to hold this with my hand to slow it down a little bit it's reading 37 40 37 33 30 Got 30 watts. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Now I'm gonna unplug this and I'm gonna plug in a different motor that I have. This one's a little bit bigger. This is a uh, DeWalt router. It is, it doesn't say the wattage on here, but it is 4.5 amps at 120 volts. So if we take the calculator and uh, 4.5 times, oops, times 120 is 540. So this should be around 540 watts, give or take. Of course, those spec numbers are might, might be a little bit off. We'll see how close they are. So I'm going to plug this in I'm gonna hold this wire it's a little tricky I'm gonna hold the router down and I'm gonna hit the power that was 161 watts uh the reason it was way less than uh 540 that we calculated is because this wasn't under load i didn't want to cut any wood with it because i was holding it with one hand i'm gonna set that aside now i'm gonna hook this up and we'll compare the numbers that we got okay so the under this it read 31 to 30 watts for the AC motor and it read 161 um, watts for the, the wall router. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it in. And it's reading 32 watts. Yep, 32. I'm gonna ignore the decimal point. I'm gonna say 32. Oh, it's going down a little bit. 30, 31. 31. I'm gonna put it under load. 35, 40. Alright, 41. Okay, it's basically 31, 32 around there. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. Now I'm gonna connect the router. <laughs> That was about 166. Okay, here are my calculations. So under the POW and the watt meter, 
we had a um, difference of one and over here we had a difference of five. So it looks like the more watts something draws, the bigger the difference this is. So we're going to calculate what's the percentage that it was off. And all you do is you take difference divided by uh, the first number and we get, so uh, we get one divided by, let's say 31. So it's a 3.2% difference. Five divided by 161 is a uh, 3.1%. So I guess the percentage decreases as you go higher, but um, there's about 3% difference. I wonder if there's a way to calibrate it a little bit so we're to where we can fix that. Well, uh, that's it. That's all I have. Hopefully if you liked the video. Please let me know uh, the things that I can do better. I'm still working on it. Uh, please subscribe. Please like. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you.